Hello and welcome to another episode of Rubicon Unlimited. I'm James and today we're going to take a look at my brand new rooftop tent. This is the Free Spirit Recreation Evolution. Hey, how's it going? Let's get this quickly out of the way. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I go over a ton of Jeep installs and reviews, adventure equipment, so if any of that stuff appeals to you, hit the subscribe button below. And now let's talk about this new tent. So firstly, I wanna talk about why I had to go out and get a new tent. If you guys have been following along, I just finished doing a review on the Tapui or Thule high box rooftop tent. And I loved that thing. I had it set up for this season's adventures and uh, Unfortunately, I got an email saying that it was recalled. So it was unsafe to be strapped up onto the roof of my Jeep. This is a bit of a PSA. If you have one of those tents, those hard shell high box tents from Tapui or Thule, it's recalled and you should contact them. Do a quick Google search about the recall and there'll be a contact form. They will offer you either a full refund or a replacement tent. And in my case, they didn't have another hard shell tent and that was kind of the style I was looking for. I'm not interested in any of the soft shells. So I went for the full refund and sourced my own new tent, which, you know, I ended up with this one. Now that recall is pretty important because it's a safety recall. The rivets that they used uh, had a flaw and what could ultimately happen is the tent could fall off your vehicle. So you don't want to be driving around with that. Uh, you do want to get that removed as soon as you can and reach out to them for that recall. But that being said, I learned a lot from that old tent and when looking for a new one, I knew exactly what I needed and what I was hoping to get. After a lot of research, I found Free Spirit Recreation and they just come out with this brand new Evolution tent. This is the 49, which is the width of it. It also comes in a 55, so a little bit wider. I went with this one because I wanted it to be about the same size as my old tent. I didn't want to go any bigger and it is still very light. And that was another thing that I wanted checked off the list. Um, along with how light it is, it's also very durable because it is an aluminum shell as opposed to uh, the ABS plastic of my old tent. And that's important to me because if you're going off road or enduring the elements, there is potential for you to say, hit that rooftop tent off of a tree or something like that. So I wanted something that would be pretty strong and could endure any of those elements off-road. Another thing that I kept in mind when looking for a tent is ease of setup and ease of breakdown. That is huge because a lot of people might not realize when you're tenting on the top of your vehicle, if you ever need to go somewhere, that thing is coming with you, which means you need to close it back up. A normal ground tent, you can just leave where it is and come back to. This thing needs to be closed whenever you need to go somewhere. So you want that to be a quick procedure. And this tent is the quickest I've ever experienced. Because the material, the fabric is enclosed within that hard shell, it just kind of gets sucked up inside. Now my old tent was also a hard shell, but the thing with that was it went straight down and the material would sometimes puff out the sides. So you'd be doing this dance around the Jeep, stuffing it in as you closed and uh, secured the thing. And it did take an extra few minutes. I know that's not a big deal, but this thing literally closes as quickly as it sets up. And I'm gonna do a real time example of that right now so you guys can see how quick this actually is. Boom, let's grab that ladder.
pretty quick. Let's take a look at how long it takes to close it all up. I'm not going to use the bag this time. Quick and easy. I don't think you can get any quicker than that, to be honest. With all the setup, you probably noticed that I stored my ladder up inside, and that was another feature I was looking for. With my old tent, I was able to keep my bedding and ladder inside the tent. A lot of the other products out there don't give you that ability, so you'd have to keep all your bedding and ladder inside the vehicle. I think that just takes up more room, and you'd want to kind of keep everything contained in its own thing. So this made way more sense, being able to keep my pillows, my sleeping bag and bedding and the ladder up there was huge. Now one drawback to this one is they allow you to keep the ladder in there but it didn't come with a ladder bag. So that's something that gets dirty and you don't want to necessarily throw that up into all your bedding. So I actually kept my bag from my last tent and that was super helpful. Hopefully Free Spirit Recreation comes up with their own ladder bag because I think that would be an awesome product to include with this tent. I also want to note that this ladder has been redesigned. Uh, Free Spirit Recreation had a bunch of other tents before and they've come up with this new ladder system. The ladder actually now kicks out away from the vehicle and that's helpful because depending on your setup and how you think, have this thing mounted, in my case the actual crossbars on the roof rack would get in the way of putting on my last tent's ladder. So this one kicks out and clears my crossbars allowing me to put the, the ladder wherever I want. There's also a couple shoe bags, and that was something I had to go out and buy with the last tent. This one is included on both sides, and it's a pretty nice bag because you can keep your shoes in there, but you can also take your socks off and put them in this vented bag, you know, to keep them from thinking up the tent. So that is awesome, and they're also removable. So if you didn't want them or you want to clean them out or shake them out, you can do that. It's super well thought out, and I appreciate that added value. Now we've also got this other awesome feature with this tent. With the aluminum frame, there are rail systems all the way around. This is great because it allows you to mount whatever you want to the outside of the tent. If you've got an awning, you could attach it there. If you've got lights, in this case, the ladder actually mounts to some brackets that are on those channels. And I was able to move it because in the original position, it was blocking my rear door. So that was an easy fix. I loosened up the bracket and I slid it over. So that way now it is near the back area of the Jeep I can climb up inside and I can still access that rear door. So that is awesome. I love that rail system. And that rail system actually allows you to put a roof rack on the top section of the tent. So because we mount this tent to our roof rack, we're losing our roof rack. But now this tent allows you to add on a rooftop, a roof rack to the top of the rooftop tent so you're still getting that feature back. That's huge. You can put extra fuel cans or whatever you want up there. It's awesome, I'm glad that is a feature. With that being said, having this aluminum shell allows you to actually store 250 pounds on top of the tent. That's crazy. So if I wanted to, I could probably stand up there with no issue. I've got that extra space to store stuff, go up on top, whatever you wanna do. So the tent is made with this awesome material. It is great for all seasons and weatherproof. So if it rains, you're good. You can actually see that the way that this 
tent opens up, it actually provides a bit of like a little awning section at the top. So when you're getting up into the tent, you actually have a bit of shelter and shade. That could also be a really great spot to put some lights or something like that. But the actual fabric material is very durable. There's windows all the way around. They all have screens on them and the screens can actually be opened up if you want the whole open air experience without the screens in the way. The door is super massive. The zipper pulls are huge, so they're really helpful at night. You can find them really easily. And I do like this extra large door. So because of the pandemic, I wasn't able to go to very many movies, but drive-in theaters were a thing. And this thing is amazing at the drive-in theater with that massive door, you just kick it open and you can see everything. If you're at a, a scenic campsite, you've got that huge view. It's great, I love that massive door. The door also has Velcro on it. So if you just wanna quickly get in and out without zipping it, it'll stay closed. And as a lot of you may know, bugs are a real thing. So having that feature of being able to close real quickly is great um, because the last thing you wanna do is keep that thing open and have a bunch of bugs go inside. So the Velcro is quick and easy and I appreciate that feature. Next, there's tons of ventilation in this tent. So yes, we have the screens for the windows, but there's also uh, channels on the wall to allow airflow. The airflow is perfect because you don't want condensation. You don't want that building up while you're sleeping. So that allows you know air to circulate. There's even a window on the roof. It's not like a skylight because when you open that window, it's pretty much up into the aluminum shell but it allows that extra airflow. And as you know, hot air rises, so it would go out that little uh, pocket and out. So that is awesome. Condensation is not a problem with this tent. And the way that it's actually hung inside of the shell, the bottom of the tent is actually open. So that does two things. It provides that extra airflow. And also because of the shell and the tent being inset, if it were to rain, the rain has to go somewhere. And if the tent at the bottom was completely closed, the water would pool in there. So this being open allows the water to drain out and not pool up inside the tent. At first I was a little concerned about that not being closed off, but over time I've noticed that it isn't really an issue. The material down there is super durable. It actually provides weight savings for this whole tent and the whole material actually looks like it can come out. So if you needed to clean anything, you could do that easily. Okay, so talking about the fabric, might as well talk about the mattress. That's an important part, comfort. So the mattress is two and a half inches thick and it is super comfortable. And I think it also has something to do with how the bottom of the tent is open. It's got these slats with another cushion on top. Just to clarify, the mattress is two and a half inches, but then the actual floor, like I said, that sits on the slats, that's another extra two inches of foam. So you're really getting four and a half inches of mattress there. And that just provides extra comfort. Now I do have to say one thing, the way that this tent is designed, the way it opens up, the side wall is actually on an angle. So if anyone's sleeping closer to that side, obviously you're gonna have that kind of material coming in on the side of you. Now, once you're sleeping, it doesn't matter and it's not really an issue, but it's worth noting that that's a thing that kind of gets in the way of the width of your sleeping. So when you're deciding between the 49 and the 55 inch tent, you might want to consider that slope taking up a little bit of space. But again, once you're sleeping, it's not really an issue. And I've already been using this with two people and there's already extra room with the two people. So you can keep, you know, uh, a duffel bag or backpack or, you know, even if you have a dog, you could probably get it up in there with you. Since we're talking about the inside of the tent, I gotta tell you, there's a ton of storage in there. And of course that's useful because phones, your wallet, keys, whatever, throw them up in there. It's got you covered, appreciate that. But big bonus, there is an LED strip inside. That's powered off of a USB power bank. So you gotta bring that yourself but that's an awesome feature because of course, if you're sleeping in there at night, you might want some light. Um, it's on a Velcro strip, so you can always take that off if you needed to. Um, I actually just flipped it because I wanted the USB end on one side opposed to the other. So you got that flexibility if you need it. On the inside, you do have a ton of headroom. There's about 45 inches in there. So 
a lot taller than most tents out there. Closed up, it's about 12 inches, so that's really thin. We've got lifted vehicles, so any height savings is appreciated. The whole thing is only 139 pounds. So again, we appreciate those weight savings. That's awesome. My last tent was much heavier, so our vehicles are heavy. Gas mileage sucks. Having a light tent is great. Um, when closed up, this thing is quiet on the road. My last one was a little quieter, but this thing's got a lot of extrusions and hinges and things on it. Um, so it does probably catch the wind a little bit more, but again, not more than say your loud tires or anything like that. It is still fairly quiet on road and I really don't notice it at all. So that is huge. The latches are super heavy duty, very positive feedback when closing it up. You know, it's going to stay closed. You actually have the ability to lock them and adjust them. So like I said, I keep my bedding inside. You might want to loosen it up to make it easier to latch closed. It's up to you. All right, that pretty much sums up the huge feature list of this awesome tent. I am so happy with this thing. At first I was a little skeptical. You know, I really liked my old tent, but having this thing on the Jeep, it actually looks the part. It looks rugged. It looks like it belongs on a vehicle like this. The features are just incredible. It is super comfortable. It's super light. I think this is the tent that most people should probably look at and all the information's below. I probably didn't hit all the specs with size and all that, but if you hit the link below, go to their website, check it out for yourself. Um, I highly recommend this tent and I plan to keep this for a very long time. So the investment is worthwhile to me. I'm not staying in hotels, road trips. This is what I'm doing. We got a tent. It's super comfortable, good to go. So again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I'd like to hear your comments. What do you think of this tent? Do you have one? Do you plan on getting one? Which one do you run? I'm curious. So comment below, let me know what you think. And if you could like the video as well, that just helps with the YouTube algorithm. It'll suggest it to more people and you know, help the channel grow. So I'd appreciate that. Okay, thanks again for hanging out with me today. Probably take a nap. See ya.